Hey guys, what's up? So I am back. Uh, <laughs> I know I've been gone for a while. Um, I'm still working on my project, but it's it's almost done. So you guys will be seeing something from it very soon. But um, something that I'm really excited about, and that is I've decided to go back to drawing with Android tablets. Um, yeah, I, I still have my iPad I will probably still use it if I can get this annoying situation resolved. Um, before I explain uh, about the, or tell you about the new tablet, let me explain why I'm switching over again or switching back. Yeah, switching back to Android. Um, my iPad has been a pain to work with uh, lately. I have the hardest time trying to back up my Procreate uh, project files and trying to put them onto the cloud has been really frustrating for some reason the project files some of them but most of them will not upload for whatever reason i have no idea why i've tried everything um it just it just does not work uh, so practically what's happening is my ipad is pretty full on storage I tried to make room by moving project files some of them are obviously successfully able to get over to the cloud but then what happens is once I free up some room, then iOS is like, oh, let's put in, let's, let's update the, the, the operating system. And then it takes up more room. And so when I try to open Procreate, it's just been force closing, like almost all the time. And, um, I've lost some artwork because of that. And it's literally just, I don't know, it's weird. So I bought more storage for my iPad, but I still can't get the project files onto the cloud. It is really really frustrating and so uh this decision actually kind of forced me to go back to uh the world of android because with android i never had this problem because i could always just plug it into my computer and then the whole thing shows up as a jump drive and i can literally just uh drag and drop all my project files onto the computer so with all that being said i'm sorry such a long introduction um i looked around to see what was new in the world of android and I decided to go ahead and buy the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. So this is the 11 inch tablet. So this is it right here. So I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit of what I've been doing with it so far. I literally just got it. So I've been playing around, but <clears throat> I probably will not go back to Apple after using this tablet. And in just a moment, I think you'll see why uh this tablet is amazing so it's uh if, if you want to know all the specs and stuff for it i'll just put a link in the description so you can go i don't really go over all the specs and stuff on this channel with tablets and stuff like there's plenty of people that do that i just try to focus more on uh the art side of things so uh but yes this is amazing they've really improved the s pen and we'll, we'll, we'll go over this um but yeah it's really nice nice magnetized um it just sticks to the back uh, so yeah, so anyway, let's jump into it. Let me show you guys uh, why I think this tablet is going to be uh, my tablet for the next few years to come. So uh, if you enjoy the channel, give a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at this tablet. Alrighty guys, so here it is, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 11-inch tablet. So uh let me show you some of the reasons why I switched over to this tablet. So, um, just so you guys know, the screen on this thing is amazing. This is literally one of the best uh, Android tablets, best displays that I've seen ever on any tablet. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. I, I kind of thought people were kind of just hyping it up when they were talking in the reviews and stuff, but no, it's, it's, it's real. So, um, yeah, this thing is super snappy. Um, my camera probably can't even keep up with how quick it is. Um, so if it looks like there might be a little lag, that's only because of my camera. Um, yeah, this thing is super, super, super smooth. Um, now something else that's really nice too is the S Pen. So the S Pen, this one actually, believe it or not, this actually is more comfortable for me personally. This is more comfortable than the Apple Pencil, and one of the reasons um, is just how it's designed. Of just it's light, it feels 
literally feels like a pencil, uh, which is really cool. So it's got like the uh, the little uh, little flat part right here, so you can probably see that. So there's like most of it's smooth, and you got the flat part. You do have a button right there. Also, too, the pen charges when you attach it um, to the back, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, it feels good on the screen. I cannot express to you enough on how good this thing actually feels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, something on here. It's called Samsung, Samsung Dex. Now, this is one of the biggest reasons that this is actually making me choose to stick with this over my iPad. So if I uh, come over here, so it's right over here. So I click this on. Now, what this is going to do is it's practically going to turn my tablet into a practically a desktop computer. Um, so the whole format of everything changes and what you're able to do in this is kind of mind-blowing So if you notice it kind of already has more of a look of like a desktop So like we have little floating widgets out there if I tap and hold um, Now here's what's really cool, too. So we have like a little start bar right over here So that's where we get to all of our apps. You can also exit uh, deck modes uh, right over here but something else that is really cool and I'm going to actually open up sketchbook so you guys will get to see what I was sketching last night. This was kind of like just my first sketch of something that I was just kind of messing around with. So, um, by the way, sketchbook is, uh, the updates in it are quite nice. So this it's improved a lot since the last time uh, I was using it. Also, too, I think you guys will like this setup for when I'm live streaming. So you guys will be able to just... Uh, have a direct view down <laughs> on the tablet as I'm drawing but yeah so it's super smooth so here let me go on the layer that is not um, being used right now and then let me just grab something let's see let's change I want to show you how smooth this is like I mean it is so smooth and we're not like getting any latency or anything like that so I mean it's moving so quick here let's go over to, let's use a pencil so we got like a pencil that looks good. Everything just looks so good. Um, we have all of our brushes in here, all this good stuff. Um, let me see. Let me find a. Let me use the ink pen real quick. Okay. Oops. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Yeah. Like guys, it is so smooth. It feels so much better. I'm 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 not lying. I'm just <laughs> I'm just being honest. It feels so much better than um, the uh, the iPad with your drawing with the pencil on the screen. Like it's almost incredible how smooth this thing actually is. Um, but yeah. So by the way, I will finish this drawing too, just so you guys know. Um, I plan to work on it a little bit today, and it will be on my Instagram uh, or. Uh, Facebook page or whatever, but for sure uh, it, will, it will be available for you guys to see um, when it's done. I might even make it available for uh, download if you want to use it for a wallpaper or something. Okay, so here's the cool thing, okay? This is where it starts to get really cool. So, of course, you can sketch and stuff, but this is why I really choose this tablet over, um, over the iPad. So, if I come over here, look at this. So, I literally just minimize this into a smaller window. And if I want, I can minimize the thing completely. And it goes down here onto my taskbar. So yeah, so I can recall it, uh, which is cool, but I can also, I can resize it too. So if I want, I can just change it to a custom size. So if I want to, uh, well, let's show you, let's, let's say, okay. So let's say we do, we put that there in the corner. And then what, let's say you're working and you want to bring up some, um, some uh, art for inspiration or something. So I'll come over here to my browser open this up and I already had ArtStation open earlier so I can be scrolling through here looking at a cool artwork that people much more talented than myself um, have made <laughs> um, but yeah so I can have those two things up so and you can change it to whatever size makes you feel comfortable um, so if you know if you wanted to make this a little bit smaller I'm not necessarily clicking on one uh, individual's piece of artwork just because I don't want to be rude. Uh, but yeah, so see, I can make that, I can make that really small, like right there in the corner. You can change it to whatever size you want, but yeah, so you can do that. You can have that. You can minimize that one. Um, let's see. So let's, let's open, uh, let's open, let's see. 
What should I open? Um, where's YouTube? There it is. Yeah, so I can open YouTube, and you can see <laughs> at the Chappelle show, um, all types of crazy stuff. So you can have um, anything playing in the background. I don't want to click on any of the videos, but you can have them playing, um, and then you can do the same thing with this. You can kind of shrink this one over in the corner, so I can have that open, and I can have my web web browser open. And I can still be sitting here drawing away. Like, just that alone uh, is really mind-blowing. So I'm going to close close these out. And we'll just minimize this one. Also, too, I just want to show you how fast this thing is. So there is this new app. I'm new to this. I This is a 3D modeling app. But it's so smooth. I mean, like, at this point, like, we've I feel like we're just... We were just using like a regular, um, let's see, let's try to make a really creepy looking smiley face. And you guys can for sure bet we're going to do some tutorials with, um, with this program. I just have to learn it. <laughs> but, uh, let's see, let's do move. No, not move. Let's do, let's see if we can smoothen this out a little bit and make it not look as creepy. There we go. So we can kind of blend those together. I'm going to have fun with this guys. Like, and it's nice too, cause it's mirroring all of that. So you can see that we got our weird, I don't know. He looks like he might be like a weird Pac-Man's cousin or something. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, so we have that going and, um, let's see we can make that smaller too. So I can have that going and we can have a uh, sketchbook going at the same time. So, guys, I mean, at this point, this thing is practically a computer. And, I mean, like, the gaming and stuff on this thing, too, is amazing. You can actually get Xbox uh, Game Pass for this. So you can Bluetooth the Xbox control and play Xbox games on it, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I should show you one game on here real quick. And I just, just to show you, like, how smooth and fast this thing is. So here, let's just go full screen. Um, this is actually a game that I just started playing last night, which I was actually really impressed with. Um, so here, let me go ahead and just pick it up a little bit. I'm going to keep the sound down because I, uh, I do not know if I would get like a copyright strike <laughs> or anything for having the music, but this is mostly, I just want to show you the graphics. Um, guys, this is literally the best Android tablet you can get right now. Definitely. Like there's like, I mean, I don't know. This is it. Okay. So I want to, like, I don't know, like, I want to show you this game also, too, just because the art style is really gorgeous, and I mean, our channel is mostly, uh, it's mostly artwork <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this kind of fits in uh, with this video, I guess, but I just, I want to show you how, like, how pretty this game actually is, like, it's kind of amazing. So it kind of reminds you of Breath of the Wild a little bit. Um, it's hard to believe that this is actually running on a tablet. Like, who would have thought? I mean, I don't know how well it's translating, but there's actually mo motion blur in the background when I'm actually, like, changing. Um, I think I can turn the music. Let's turn the music up just a little bit. Just so we can hear a little sound effects. <sighs> yeah, no, this is crazy. Like, this really reminds me of Breath of the Wild a lot. But, um, yeah, I mean, isn't this amazing, though? Like, it's, this tablet is really awesome. So, I mean, you can do all types of amazing things with it. Um, so let's see. Let's actually minimize this one. So, see, even a game like this. So, see, I can shrink that down into uh, a smaller window. There we go. Let's do that. And then let's just say, let's open that 3D program again. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Okay, there we go. I don't think I clicked it right the first time. So yeah, so look at that. So we can have that going at the same time and be playing the game if we want to. Like, how amazing is that? Also, too, look at the detail on this. Shout out to the people that made this game, man. That is, ins that is insane. So, 
yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I promise you I will have much more on this particular tablet. Um, you know, it's just, I just got it, so... Uh, it's going to be a little bit before I, you know, I get to really dive deep into it and start making some really crazy artwork with it. Also, too, I'm trying to finish my project, so I'm trying not to get too distracted with this, <laughs> but I'm almost done with it, though. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some cool stuff with this, guys. It is really awesome. I really, really love this thing. Um, I just, I can't believe it actually works as well as it does. Um it's really awesome. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also to uh, comment below. I love reading your guys' comments. Let me know if you guys are glad that we've returned to Android tablets because that's definitely what is going to be on this channel um, moving forward. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I know some, probably, <laughs> some of you probably thought I would never go back to Android, um, but lo and behold, Samsung uh, is the one that did it, and it's crazy because it, we we're we we're rocking Samsung a long time ago, back in the day. So it's kind of cool. We've come 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 full circle. So um, shout out to Samsung too for making this amazing pen. This is this thing is awesome. Okay, that's the end of this video. Sorry it was so long, but I love you all. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, and uh, stay safe out there. All right, bye.